I'm Hailstorm, and I'm Mindset. We're both brothers, but I'm a Decepticon, and I'm an Autobot, so you know what that means. <laughs> hey guys, this is uh, my my review of, uh, for some reason, they, they did a concurrent toy line, like they did two toy lines at once. Hunt for the Decepticon's Hailstorm, and Reveal the Shield Mindset. Uh, so yeah, these are the same mold. But I own both of them because I like this mold, because it's cool and I like it. And you may be thinking, oh, why don't you have the missile pods? They take up a lot of space on the shelf, okay? Gosh, leave me alone. Like, you can flip out the missile pods. Unknown feature, just revealed today. You can flip out the missile pods, guys. Whoa, isn't that great? You can flip them in other ways, too. You can have them, they can rotate, too, which is nice. They can do that. So you can have missile pods. But yeah, uh, these are heavy artillery little robot boys. When I say little, I mean little because they're kind of small. Um, here it, <laughs> he's actually just in reach. Here's a kind of shorter deluxe from Siege. There's one of the reflector guys, he was in reach. But then a taller, more normal sized deluxe. Here they are with, actually from around the same line, or around the same time, Generations Blur. So yeah, they're, they're short. If you thought deluxes were only short nowadays, I'm sorry, buddy, but they've been doing short deluxes for a long time, and you just weren't paying attention, and you didn't realize that they they do it sometimes. It's just how, how it works. But yeah, these are really cool, and I like them. So I want to go over kind of the robot mode on one, and then the transformation on another. So let us go over the robot mode on him. Uh, they only have one physical difference, and that is the head sculpts. Hailstorm, he has a very aggressive movie Decepticon looking head sculpt, and I love it. And, uh, mindset over here. Uh, I actually really like it, but he's just kind of like, ah, 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 It's It's odd, okay? It's an odd sculpt. But yeah, um, coloring wise, they're also, let's maybe zoom out a little bit. They're also very, very different. Uh, he's got red missiles. He's got not red missiles. Uh, he's got... I feel like Hailstorm has kind of got some more paint. Like, he's got some paint on his feet and on his crotch. Um, but he, he kind of has, like... You know, he has some silver paint right there, but he has some recessed paint. He has silver right there, but, like, he doesn't. And again, like, he's got all silver arms, and he's just got silver hands. He's got a little bit of highlight at the hands there. Um, it's kind of a trade-off. Then again, Hailstorm has this camo, which is amazing, and I love it. And Mindset does not. So, yeah, that's a thing that exists. Um, Articulation-wise on both these guys, you kind of saw on uh, on Mindset, you have a hinge and a ball joint at the head. So you can actually get the head all the way up. But I personally prefer it kind of down. You can rotate it, which is nice. And you can get them looking down, get them looking up. Very nice head joint. Uh, the shoulders, you may think they'd be on ball joints, but they're actually on universal joints. Sinking them out a little bit. They swivel. You have like a hinge and a ball joint in tandem at the elbow there. So that's not bad. Nothing at the waist. You got ball joints at the hips. You got a very deep knee at the knee. Which is nice. So you have a very deep knee. And then you actually have a lot of uh, ankle articulation. A little bit of up and down, but you have a lot of tilt. You can kind of do some crazy stuff with that. I think it's largely for transformation, but still you get a lot of tilt, which is great. So you can get these guys in like a squat, like, I'm gonna do my artillerying! You can actually probably get him really squat. And then legs kind of spread, arms maybe mounted down. Looks like he's kind of taking a poop, but don't worry about it, because he's shooting off his missiles! <laughs> which they are kind of flick fire, for the record. They're He's like that ball joint, and you just, you're just supposed to press on him. Not very good, but that's that's what you get. So yeah, that's kind of the robot mode on Hailstorm here. Looks good. I like it. I love the colors. It looks nice. But I actually ended up getting Mindset second, because I still love the colors. And I really just like this figure. It's a really good figure, okay? I like it. It's so funny, when I review Transformers, it's like... <laughs> It's either old versus new, or I'm going to review all of my R.I.D. Thunderhoofs, or I'm going to review these toys that are like a decade old that no one really knows about because they don't really have any lore besides the fact that they're toys that exist. So yeah, um, but his colors, I mean, I just love those colors. 
It's because he's black and blue. That's why. Black and blue, man. <laughs> Favorite color combo, hands down. He's actually pretty much the color of my wall, too, which is funny. So, yeah, let's uh, transform him because I went over the robot mode on the other one. So, uh, this is going to be one of those where I haven't transformed him in a while. So, we're going to see how this goes. So, and I actually haven't transformed him at all yet. I haven't transformed this guy at all yet, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to see uh, how this goes. We're gonna have to see if this goes good or not. I actually, kind of have a bit of a double me there. That's interesting. Kind of more for transformation though to get all that just straightened. I think that goes in. I'm pretty sure that goes in. That's a safe. That's a pretty. Yeah, that's a safe bet. Alrighty, so yeah, because it's kind of like the front, right? Yeah, that's the front. Okay. So it's actually, if my memory serves me correctly, not that hard. Um, oh, it has like this really complex mechanism, right? Oh, yeah, that's what it is. It's got this super intricate mechanism. And I don't remember what, how to release it. Oh, gosh. Because it like, it like accordions right there. You see those hinges? Which is really cool. But you need to find out how to unlock it. And that's where I'm going to have trouble. Maybe it's... Where I'm gonna break the damn thing. The dang, the dang damn thing. I'm gonna break the damn thing. Um, maybe I just do it. No. Oh my goodness. You know what? I'm not gonna let you sit through this. Give me a second. I had to look it up so I didn't break it. Um, basically, I'm pretty sure you just, you just tug at it. You just yank real hard. Um, at least that's what. That's what it looked like Emgo did. Looked like he just, uh, oh my lord. Oh. oh my goodness. Um, I did find out that on tabs. How would a kid ever figure this out? Can I get it working on him, maybe? There we go. I got it untabbed on him. That is a really difficult tab. So yeah, it's not like I'm an idiot or anything. Look at that. Look at how it's latched in. Oh my goodness. So yeah, it that's what it does. Oh, there we go. Jeez, yeah. That takes... Good thing I looked it up. Uh, th this is the thing. I don't like looking up transformations except when it gets to the point where I'm worried I'm going to break the damn thing if I don't look it up. Um, so yeah, my advice is that it's fun to figure out how to transform transformers. But if you feel like you're going to break it, please look it up. Because otherwise, you're probably going to break it. <laughs> And I probably would have if I hadn't looked it up. So yeah, we're uh, we're getting there. Um, yeah, that hinge it kind of goes up. It's a really cool alt mode. Just got to get everything kind of straight, and then oh yeah, the do the arms. Hmm. I guess the arms just kind of sit like that. I didn't look at detail. I just skipped to the part in the MGO video, which is super old, super old video. But. I'm making progress. Oh, yeah, tabs in there. Really subtle little tabs. I mean, it's an old movie figure, so it's not the easiest thing in the world. <laughs> you know how these go. You just kind of line everything up and hope that everything doesn't, you know, destroy itself. Hey, it would help if I had this missile rack in the right direction. Oh, my goodness. That undid everything. <laughs> Oh, God. Here we go. Really easy transformation once you know the little secret. And then here we have... Let's get those. Oh, my goodness. I undid it. Oh, my gosh. Those actually kind of go in all the way. So here we have the missile launchers in, uh, in their missile launcher mode. I love the camo. That camo just makes it, man. I love that camo. I wish it was down the treads. But still, he is a Decepticon, as you can see. This looks like a real Decepticon vehicle. Autobot, not so much, because he has to reveal the shield. And if we reveal that shield, we can see he's an Autobot. Oh, I'm sorry I rubbed it. I should have just held my thumb on it and waited, because that's, that's what you should do. But yeah, there we go. Uh, I definitely feel like the paint deco on the front is a lot better. The coloring of the feet definitely makes her a better front for the vehicle on Hailstorm. Because it just looks kind of weird and unfinished on Mindset. Not gonna lie, not looking the greatest, but still it's not bad. I like how they painted the black though. 
on the windows. I like that little detail. But yeah, not having his feet blue and having the grills painted in like Hailstorm really makes it look a little weird and incomplete. Looks like a nose. Bonk nose. But yeah, uh, I love these figures. I really do. And uh, it's a shame <laughs> that... Uh, it's going to be a little hard to edit this video because I had to go and look up how to transform them. But I love these guys. I love them, and I highly recommend this mold. It's one of the best uh, non-appearing Transformers movie toys that I think they ever really made. It's one of the best. It's up there with, like, uh, uh, geez, Mind Wipe, with Bludgeon, with Lockdown. It's it's up there among them, in my opinion. It's, it's a really great toy, and I highly recommend it. So there we go, guys. Uh, there is Hailstorm from Hunt for the Decepticons and Mindset from Reveal the Shield. I don't know why they decided to have two lines run at the same time. As Hasbro, not me. Was I think Generations might have... No, it was pre-Generations. Pre-Generations. Generations came next. But yeah, funny how they did that. Alrighty, guys. Uh, make sure to come, like, and subscribe. Check out my social media links, peel boxes, resting, and frequently asked questions down in the description below. Have a good day, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.